Tonight, I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak. This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting. Breaking news from Wall Street in the wake of the coronavirus crisis. Stocks have stopped trading on Wall Street after a 7% drop in the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 in the first minute. Coronavirus fears reaching an all-time high in the U.S. Two men died from the virus in Washington State over the weekend. They were out of bottled water. Those popular Clorox wipes, flour, bagged rice, things like toilet paper. Employees said they've been watching people stock up amid coronavirus fears, but county officials are... right now the whole world is dealing with the coronavirus um, and battling it as much as possible trying to prevent the spread um, and we are in the same situation here in Sweden um, at Shape By we are open as usual right now we are following the situation very very closely it's an evolving situation um, so the most important thing is to keep in line with the government recommendations and the safety guidelines which of course we're following very closely. Um, and we're also taking a lot of precautions here at the clinic to make sure that we prevent infection and spread as much as possible. We ask that you please contact us to reschedule your appointment if you have any symptoms of infection or if you have been in contact with someone who does. Upon arrival, when our patients come here, we always check with them if they have any symptoms of corona. And if they do have a fever or any kind of symptoms, we reschedule them for another appointment time. And when we do check the fever, and we have a, a temperature measure here. So we point it with laser on the forehead and it shows a number. So here it is, 36.1. So that's very good, no fever. And then we ask them to go and wash their hands in the bathroom and we also have a disinfectant suit so they can wash it with that as well. We take coronavirus very, very seriously. So one thing we are doing is um, checking and screening our staff every day to see if anyone has any symptoms, even the most mild symptoms of cough, fever, any upper respiratory infection, or if they've been in contact with others. So we've been recommending all of our staff members to stay home if they do have any symptoms or any interaction with other people who have symptoms. Um, and we do also check everyone's temperature every day to see if any one of us has a fever. We take this very seriously and we wanna make sure that if one of our staff members were to show any symptoms, we would definitely have them stay home. At our clinic, we continue to use high infection control standards by washing our hands before and after each treatment. We use hand sanitizers and hospital grade disinfectants. We sanitize uh, all the surfaces and we change the cover sheet of the treatment bed after each patient. And all of the equipment we use are sterile and single use. If you have a patient here and have bought products here before, then you don't have to come into the clinic to buy them. You can just contact us so we can pass them to you. 
So another measure we're taking right now is to ask that um, none of our patients bring any friends or family members with them here to the clinic, um, and especially not children. This is because we wanna limit the number of people that are here in the lobby um, so that people are able to sit at more of a distance um, and not come in as close contact with others. Hey everybody, finance intern is back home in Sweden. Uh, I just came back from the US, from San Diego to Solna yesterday and uh, now I've been put in quarantine. I'm gonna be in the apartment for two weeks uh, just to keep the family safe. We got a little baby shaper on the way, so, you know. And I got, I got there in mid-January, so Corona wasn't on people's mind. Life was normal back then. California life consists of great weather, warm weather, and uh, because of the weather, people are always outside, people are being active, and uh, everything's open. I mean, it's almost like Swedish summer over there right now. And uh, what I noticed, first of all, was just that the school closed down. All of my courses became online courses, and uh, I lived on campus too, so one day it was crowded, it was packed with people, and uh, the day after that, it was totally empty, it became a ghost town. The school sent out an email to every student telling them that they are not permitted to even live on campus anymore. All the American kids got sent back home and only the international students uh, were permitted to stay because yeah, we, we didn't have anywhere else to go. And a couple of days later, restaurants, um, all the stores, basically everything was just starting to close down. Uh, I couldn't get toilet paper for uh, for a long time. <laughs> kind of glad that I'm back here now, so I don't have to think about that. <laughs> it was kind of stressful. And yeah, I got to the airport very early just because I thought it was going to be chaos. I thought everyone, all the international students were going home, that all the tourists that, that, that were here uh, were also going get, to get home. So I, you know, I thought it was going to get crazy. and that I was gonna get stuck at the airport for a long time. And when I got there, it was almost totally empty. Like, no people at all. Um, and the people that were there, everyone had these masks that covered their face. They were walking around. Some people were walking around in like full body hazmat suits. I'm just standing there with my hand sanitizer. So I felt like, oh shit, <laughs> I, need to, uh, I need to get a mask or something. Luckily, I didn't have any problems with cancellations or my flights being delayed uh, it was pretty much straightforward just get on the plane and fly and no there were no problem at all uh, they didn't check your temperature didn't do any like coronavirus related thing that you maybe would think that they would do it was just get off the plane uh, didn't do it didn't even do a passport control really it was just go take your luggage and go home like that was that was it basically I'm just gonna stay at home kind of focus on school continue with the online courses from Sweden uh, just hope that I don't have any like tests at 4 a.m. that would suck and uh, yeah just uh, fight the jet lag maybe do some at home here at home workouts and uh, and yeah I'm gonna steal Dr. Neha's little dog Sikke and uh, yeah he's gonna keep me company and keep me busy it's gonna be nice to have some company around here and uh, stay home stay safe stay strong see you around bye <laughs>
coronavirus has been contained.